Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss uh, Trotsky Permanent Revolution. With that, I'll turn the subject to my grandson, Tristan. Go ahead, Tristan. All right, thank you. So today we're going to be starting our series on Trotskyism, and this was suggested by a viewer in our latest live stream, so thank you for suggesting this. But um, yeah, today we're going to be starting our series on Trotskyism, and we're going to be starting that off by talking about Trotsky's idea of permanent revolution. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with uh, Stalin's idea of socialism in one country, which is basically like, you know, socialism, it gets, you know, socialist revolution happens in a country, and then the socialism exists within, socialist society exists within that country, and so that socialist society and that socialist country kind of builds itself up and makes itself stronger, and then it starts to export socialism into foreign nations um, by, you know, diplomatic means, or, you know, other means, etc., etc. So I'm sure you're familiar with that. But Trotsky's idea is kind of like the opposite of that. It's the opposite of Stalin's idea of socialism in one country. And that idea is permanent revolution. So basically, permanent revolution is like, let's say a socialist society exists. Socialism, socialist revolution just happened in X country. And now this country is trying to spread global socialism, right? Trotsky says that in order to have a successful revolution, you need to immediately, when socialism is established in that country, that country needs to immediately try to export socialism to foreign nations by any means possible. And by any means possible, I mean like any means. And that, you know, goes from diplomacy, like diplomatic talks, to full-on war. No but, limit. Yeah, no <clears throat> limit. Um, and, you know, this theory, it doesn't really give the socialist country that socialism started off in any time to develop itself or, you know, get stronger or anything. It's just, you know, once socialism is established, it needs to go out. It needs to go outwards and spread. And Trotsky said that in order for socialism to be successful, socialist activity needs to be spread from that country to all other countries on earth, right? So you need to have kind of synchronized revolution throughout all countries. And this is what will allow uh, global socialism to be established is kind of synchronized socialist revolution throughout all nations through one nation that established social socialism that doesn't develop itself and immediately starts to export socialism to foreign nations. So um, I want to talk about another thing before we end off this video. I want to talk about Trotsky's critique or criticism of Stalin's idea of socialism in one country. So basically, uh, Trotsky tried to argue against Stalin's idea of socialism in one country by saying that if you try to kind of wait to export socialism, what's going to happen is global capitalist powers are going to start to pick at your socialist nation. and They're going to start to, you know, break it apart and try to destroy it, right? So if you wait and you don't try to immediately export socialism, your socialist country is going to be destroyed and broken up Absolutely. by the uh, global capitalist powers that exist elsewhere in the world. They'll crush it. Yeah. And before we end off this video, I want to say something. Neither of us are Trotskyists. Neither of us support Trotskyism. We're just doing this for educational purposes. So that would pretty much end off the video and end off the uh, video, the subject as a whole. Thank you for uh, watching. Thank you.